and this is why I hate this place. This is exactly why I hate this area. He moves so incredibly slow. <laughs> and you have to do this multiple times. Imagine a speedrunner playing this game and having to sit through this this portion of the game. I should check to see what the speedrun kind of strats are for this game. Garrett, you're slower than the giant slow statue. And I am really, really sad about that. Garrett, I need you to be faster than the slow statue. I can't believe Garrett is slower than this statue. Oh, I got Click Sphere. And another vial. Give me a second. I got an important email, so I'm trying to check it real quick. good. I'm surprised that Mia hasn't learned to ply well yet. Which is sad because I I don't get wish until well after she learns to ply well. So it's like... around here have subsided. I wonder if the holes in the mine allowed the water to drain. Now it's me killing the monsters that's spewing it all over the place. I'm doing my civic duty. Surprised she has anything to sell considering most of it should be waterlogged right now. goods were damaged. I'm going to sell like there's no tomorrow. Oh wow, so her goods managed to survive but everything else in her house got destroyed. Like her bed is completely soaked down to the, the core. I got a nut. And no, that, that would never not be funny to say out loud. If the monsters that did this were here right now, I'd give them a smack. I'm just kidding. I'm opposed to all this violence. One blow's not enough. Jab, jab, hook. Then comes the uppercut. She's like, I'm opposed to all this violence. But in her head, she's like, stab, stab. No, she didn't say anything about stabbing, though. But she was like, uh, in her head, she was like, out loud she was saying she's supposed to vines in her head. She's, she was saying, light punch, light punch, dragon uppercut. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know what that is, that's punch, punch, oh, you can. Oh, great. Green spiders. Not to be confused with your garden variety, uh, garden variety orange spiders. These are totally different than those. They're green. The Dirge of Cerberus. It's actually bad though.
boom, 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 boom. Uh, I was like, do I go right first? Oh, uh, left first? No, I go right first. Uh, we have the amped up. Amped up uh, slime monsters on top of the ape. Just want to make sure that the slime monsters don't multiply. Somehow we didn't kill the monkey. Yo, he got a lot of HP. Again. I'm just kidding. Garrett's always useful. All the characters are useful. The only thing Garrett has going against him is the fact that he slows a meal. Nah, meal's probably faster. He's probably as slow as a turtle. And I got poison. I think we're supposed to go right first. Yeah, we're supposed to go right first. All right, so we use Earthquake Fireball. Storm Ray. <laughs> Speaking of Storm Ray. Okay, so now it's going to go around here. Over that bend to the monster. Oh no, so we went the right way first. Let's go left and then you go right after you kill the monster. I believe there's a Mercury Gen in this cave too. Your Isaac. Where is it? That was actually kind of weak for a blessing attack. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites the dust. Another one bites. Another one bites. Another one bites the dust. Oh yeah! Another one bites the dust.
I probably don't need to waste it on a storm ray, but we're gonna do it anyway. Why not, right? Ivan's close to dead. Uh, let's give a cure to Ivan and Mia. You know what? While we're at it, let's give one to Garrett, too. Oh, I don't have lift. Can't do that yet. Um, I guess I could just do this then, right? There's nothing else in here for me, so. Yeah, I'm gonna increase my defensive stats now. Gotta go and sell this stuff again. Wait, when did I get a frost jewel? Oh, I got it from the first person that we beat, right? But we don't ever need it because... What's her name already does frost, so it's like pointless. She like, she, she just comes equipped with it. From the get go. Not even equipped with it. She just automatically knows it. I guess that'd be useful for later on though. Oh, that's better. Go with this instead. Changed his stuff so in forever, and it shows. Open helm. I mean, iron helm. We'll get rid of the bronze helm. Fifty to sell it. So now I can actually purchase the Iron Helm to give to him. I don't have enough to increase their headpiece stuff though, so we'll have to wait on that. I think we're good to go then. Um, we are going to... I should probably go and heal at the, uh, the inn. Then we'll save and call it quits for the day. We're doing some more golden sun today. 
I sat upstairs forever trying to think about what I wanted to do. And in the end, we just I just settled on Golden Sun. Like, the, part of me was going to do uh, the new Mario Rabbids game. But then I was like, uh, <laughs> Nah. So then part of me was like, let's just do more World of Warcraft leveling. And then I was, um, while I was sitting up there trying to get the baby to calm down, I was like, Nah. <laughs> So in the end, I settled on just doing some uh, some more Golden Sun. I was like, you know what? We have a lot of Golden Sun that we need to get through, so we might as well just do that, right? Try to clear as much of that out of the, the system as we can. Um, so that we can uh, make sure that we can complete this before uh, the... Uh, Winter season gets here in full swing. Um, and you know it's not that it's not a bad idea. Plus, it's something that I'm sure um, myself and you all would enjoy. Uh, he's storm rain. So here we are, golden sunning it. The next ad will be in 21 minutes. Um, so I'll make sure to keep an eye. I put like a little ad timer thing up here so that I can see um, when a pre-roll ad or something are is getting ready to play. Uh, that way I can just play an actual ad so that the pre-roll itself does not uh, activate. Um, so I'll just monitor it on my end. Um, and I will, of course, let you guys know when I'm getting ready to throw down, throw down an ad, um, so that you guys are aware of it. Um, that way, if you guys want to take like a little break, walk away, stretch your legs and whatnot, you can as well. Um, and then when the ad, of course, finishes, that's when I'll get back into the gameplay. Um, this is something that I've been meaning to do forever now. Um, so that people didn't have to, you know, waste all their time coming to the stream and dealing with ads because I know for one I hate I hate that like if, if I go into a streamer if I go into a stream for somebody that I haven't been watching for a long time and the first thing I get is like an ad I immediately just click out and go back to one of my streams that I'm sub to because <laughs> it's like I was like oh yeah no I'm not because at that point I was like I just wanted to see what they were doing but I can't because I have to sit here for like three to four minutes of ads. So it's like, yeah, I'd rather just go and watch somebody that I know I'm not going to deal with ads in. And because I can't, like, sub to everybody, like, there's a lot of people that I would love to sub to, but because money is tight, especially now that I have to end up paying two deductibles for this stupid car accident. Um, money is, like, extremely tight. So I have to be kind of fickle with who I sub to. So I tried to limit it to the streams that I watch, like pretty much on a daily basis. So yes, yesterday when we ended. We were in the, what was it, Alton Mines? Um, we had defeated, I think, two of the, uh, living statues. So now we're working on the, uh, the last few. I can't remember exactly how many living statues actually existed in the tunnel. I just know that it's it, this this part of the uh, the game is long, tedious, and annoying. I think this is a mimic. It's a mimic. Can I put it to sleep? I'm gonna try to put it to sleep. 
Well, at least we lowered his attack. Oh, brother has shine plasma. Activate ply. Oh, Isaac is sleeping. He's both my main source of damage and the f um and a healer. But now he's sleeping. I guess I could use restore on him. Wow, they put Garrett to sleep down too. Well, Isaac woke up at least. I keep dropping his physical attack, but he won't actually use it. Good, that didn't work. Good, now he can't use energy. Not that it mattered. He just died anyway. Uh, let's give this to Garrett. Uh, let's use synergy from him on Isaac. Or not Isaac, Ivan. Uh, top his HP back off. Wow, we got caught by surprise from a single slime monster. Um. I have to say, in every RPG that I've played in my entire lifetime, I've always hated the cave portions. Underground portions and cave portions. Always the worst. The random encounter um, rate always seems to increase inside caves. So you're running into random... Uh, Monsters and stuff like every second instead of every minute And it's it always feels the worst Because you're like I just want to do this puzzle and you can't because every time you put um, you push a block or something like that You run into a monster Siphon seal Case in point, I literally just got finished fighting the other battle and immediately they threw me into another one. I didn't even, it was not even a full second after completing that one where they were like, another battle for you. And it's always just a single slime monster. Critical strike. He's dead. Siphon seal. I'm just glad he doesn't split apart before Garrett can attack. Oh, that's just to get to the thing. Okay, so I never actually touched the switch, did I? I have to change the switch's uh, course. We're just going to focus down one. Smoke bomb. Okay, one's dead. So it literally takes all four of them to kill one. A 15 magician. How much money do I have right now? $2,000. 
2,529 coins. That's actually not a lot. <laughs> uh, all right, flip the switch. Oh, wait. I want to go the other way so I can get the item. Completely missed that. Since Ivan missed, we have to get this hit. Well, Garrett, there we go. But it also meant that, uh, We could no longer uh, stop him from making the move. All right. Quick heads up for you all, though. Uh, next ad in 11 minutes. Well, 12 minutes, technically. 11 minutes and 41 seconds now. Got the dragon shield. Let's go. Resist fire. Uh, well, the only one that really needs that would have been Mia. So she has weakness to fire. Let's have him equipped it. And now I can give him the gauntlets. Garrick already resists fire, so I didn't need to give it to him. I guess I could have gave it to him, and that way he would basically be immune to fire. Tarantula! Wah! Wah! Siphon seal! here. Bop, bop. We should be able to kill the next living statue before uh, having to play an ad. I imagine. If not, we can snooze it. Bop. Bop. Seal. Wow, he got his back to the critical of his own. Revenge strike! Cure her. Try that again. Alright, living statue. Uh, heat wave. Uh, impact into regular attack. My normal attack does 76 damage. They only do 102. Surprising. It did less damage because my special attack is an ice-based attack and he's our my bad water-based attack. Which is what he is. take as long as I thought it would. Uh, we have another vial. Give one to him. Just use cure because it was the least am it uses the least amount of uh points um I think I just retreat out of here so 
believe I can go further down now. Ah, the weapon shop is open. Got nine coins. I actually wonder if somebody dropped those coins in the jar um, as they were, you know, searching around for weapons. Ooh, synergy leech. So this increases his attack by six, but this one increases hers by 15. So we're gonna give it to her, right? I actually wanna see if he can use her weapon. Nope, that would be a decrease. Okay, so let's sell. Sell the elixir off him. Oh, we can sell this uh, shield. Uh, we can sell the antidote and the sleep bomb. Yo, the claymore would be that much of an increase for him. Too bad I don't have 4,000 gold. So I could technically sell him the Arctic Blade. That gives me 1,950. So that put me at 1,000. Uh, that put me at 3,300. Okay, so yeah, that'd be just enough. Now I can buy the Claymore. But I also have no money now. I be the poor guy in the video game. Yes, I be the poor guy in the video game. Yeah. All right. I think this might be the final uh, beast right here. I may have been supposed to be going left. Really? Right in the doorway and the game is like, nah, you good. Zombie walking behind Baoshi. It's actually kind of hilarious. Um, I was trying to figure out the best way to tackle these guys, but did normal attack him. Got another boss would give him so that he has two. For some reason I thought that was gonna be a fake. Another mimic. I should have had Garrett attack the other one. And me attack the one as uh, same as Isaac and Evan. That way, I would only taken one attack instead of two. Live and learn. Oh, 
Oh dear, we got uh, the Rat Pack. still lived. Hmm. There's a Mercury Jenny in here. Move that over. Alright, we got like a, a minute before we run this ad. Two minutes in. It's a. Uh, oh, we got plow well now. Uh, it's at a minute and 20, 30 seconds before the ad starts. Before we run it. Once again, I apologize. This is just so that we can avoid pre rolls on the channel. in a minute okay so if I touch the thing it goes over here it go over here and stop okay Oh, I think I wanted to, right? get back in and come down. Alright, ads are going. Uh, subs will be uh, chilling here for a minute while we wait for the ads to go. I should say, how are all of my subs Saturday going for you guys? All, all my followers and uh, new viewers are all uh, in ad mode right now, so we're gonna chill here for a second while that uh, goes through. Hope you all enjoying your Saturday. Hope it's going well for you. I, for one, have been having a pretty decent Saturday. My leg has been pretty much perfect now. Um, every now and then, my ankle will. Uh, hurt um, and my leg will get stiff um, but as long as I keep doing leg leg, leg exercises uh, the soreness is gone it's just my leg is stiff now from the constant not using it the last few days so if I don't keep my leg in motion um, say if I keep my leg out of motion for about 30 minutes it'll get stiff and I'll have to keep like bending it to try to you know loosen it up but other than that, I mean, great, great Saturday. Spend time with the wife and the baby. Perfect times. 
Welcome back, everybody. Uh, welcome back, all my followers and uh, new viewers. I hope you guys enjoyed the ad. Sorry once again about that. Uh, it's the only way I can keep the pre-roll ads off the stream, though, is by having it run a uh, minute ad every 30 minutes. Um, but we're back, we're ready to keep going, so let's keep destroying some rat monsters. I think that's fine. I think doing that is fine. It's the same rat monster every time. Stop popping up, rat monster. Uh, let's get some hills going. Yeah, everybody was looking a little bit, uh, worse for wear. Okay, let's try that again. Mess up last time because I didn't realize I didn't ice the second one. Wait, I think to get to the Jenny, you have to use the train. The, the rail cart. Oh, he just ran. Yep. Alright, let's get to the rail cart then. Oh, wait, to do that, I had to go down here, right? This way, if we don't defeat it, I don't have to leave and come back. Well, that was strong. I, was like, I pray that she's faster than it. Frost Spear was on point though. Frost Spear, my bad. Alright, so now we have three of all other gins except, um, Jennies except for the Mercury Jennies, uh, in which we have, uh, four of. Uh, I'll learn Briar, Thorn, Cutting Edge, Cure Poison, Restore. Uh, I'll learn Cutting Edge, Blast, Mad Blast, Cure Poison, Restore, Guard, and Protect. If I give it to him, I'll learn Prism, but I'll uh, unlearn Ray, Stormbright, Whirlwind, and Sleep. If we give it to her, she learns Wish! Let's go! We have it! We have Wish! She's now the best healer in the game. If she had one wish, she'd build my team. So we don't die, we can keep playing. If she had one wish, my characters wouldn't die. Um, uh, this one's a bit tougher. Oh, you know what? I didn't even realize I had learned Quakes here. Probably burning a lot of MP for no reason, but hmm. Call me. 
me in front. I was not expecting Garrett to be faster than the monkey. I thought for certain the monkey would be faster than him. These almonds are crunchy. The hardest part about that set that setup of monsters is that each and every one of them could call for help. Watch for falling rocks. Don't do not strike the wall. Rocks may fall. So you know what we gotta do, right? We gotta do the very thing they told us not to do. You guessed it. Strike the wall. Let's do exactly what they told us not to do. I am so glad that I'm not the one that has to control that. I would game over every time. Let's go down. Get ready for the final battle. Battle, 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 battle. All right, let's save because I'm pretty sure this is a boss fight. Um, in this fight, we will not use any of the Mercury Genie. We may no we have wish. We have no using the use sprites. A forge breeze. Apply to Ivan because Ivan actually loses some HP when he uses his Jenny. Boost defense. Oh, my bad. Boost attack. Why do you go and attack once? All right, you splint, fever, gust, apply to a uh, Ivanian. He's been wrapped by delusion. All right, uh, Tiamat, uh, not Tiamat, Sybil, or Sibel, uh, Tiamat, uh, I think it's called Procne. I'm gonna say his name is Procne. And he's Wish. Tiamat's got to do at least 300, maybe four. All right, 243 for that as well. 
gotta be at least 300, right? So wait, let me get this. It's Tada, Tada Nanryu, right? Did I say that right? Tada Nanryu. It's 333. I like it. Nice. Tada Nanryu. If I said that right, let me know. Thank you for the raid. Welcome on in. How you feeling today? I said it right. Sweet. Chili B. Oh, uh, I said Chili B. Chill Beady. Hey, hey, how's it going? Welcome on in, everybody. As always. Thank you for the follow as well. Welcome on in, everybody. You are just in time for some more of the Retro RPG Spotlight series featuring Golden Sun this time. Uh, the Retro Spotlight RG RPG series, for those of you who do not know, is a new series that the Bursty family has started. Uh, this year. Um, it's something that we've been doing for a while, but it's only something that we've actually like really started doing this year. Um, it's a series in which we highlight old RPG uh, games from back in my childhood. Uh, either ones that I enjoyed or some that you guys enjoy. Um, we highlight them on the channel. Um, we'll be posting these videos onto YouTube as well, um, so in case people miss them. But it's just a way to bring some uh, what, how you say it, some attention to some of the some of the old greats uh, ones that people may not have thought to play you know back in the day or even now uh, I think it'd be nice you know just to show people like hey these games are actually still exist uh, they're fun you can emulate them if you need to or you can find a way to purchase them like I'm playing this on the Wii U uh, that you know that system that no one ever no one has like one out of every 100 people uh, probably has in their household. Uh, Tata, thank you for the follow. It's such a good game. Yeah, I know, right? P appreciation, yes. That works too, yeah. But yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself. Um, quick side note for everybody. Um, in an effort to keep the pre-roll ads from smacking the living daylights out of the stream um, for people just uh, coming in, um, I have opted to run a minute and 30 second ad every 30 minutes. Um, during that time, I will of course not do any gameplay related things. Um, we might, I might talk to like the subscribers and whatnot, but I won't do anything gameplay related. So as to uh, make sure that everybody you know, gets to see everything. Um, the next ad is in 16 minutes. Um, so I will, of course, let you guys know a minute before the ad starts so that you guys can be prepared for it. Um, and then when the ad is done, I'll, of course, welcome you back in. Um, but that, you know, just a word of warning for everybody. Um, it's something that I've been getting a, a, a few complaints about in terms of uh, the con not I wouldn't say constant kind of constant because the pre-rolls always start when you enter a stream but then they would I've been to a stream where I got into the stream it gave me a pre-roll ad and then not even five minutes after that pre-roll ad had finished mind you that was like a good two minute ad and not even five minutes after that pre-roll ad was I not sitting in like another you know nine ad you know chain of like five minutes and I'm like So we're trying to avoid that by playing an ad every 30 minutes so that it won't play any pre-roll ads. Uh, and the way this works is that the only time it will play a pre-roll ad is when I start my stream. Um, if I run it like this, the only time we'll get pre-rolls is if um, when I start my stream. Um, instead of like every so often you'll just get a random ad out of nowhere. Mercury Lighthouse. This is uh, Alton. We actually just finished Mercury Lighthouse uh, yesterday. Yeah, we, I think we finished Mercury Lighthouse yesterday as well as uh, no. No, it wasn't yesterday. It was Thursday. We finished Mercury Lighthouse on Thursday. Uh, yesterday we finished uh, was it Mogol Forest and then a portion of Alton. And right now we're finished. Uh, we just finished Alton, and we're gonna head towards. Uh, uh, where's that place? The I think we head towards the ship next. I think, right? Should have guessed from the boss. Oh, 
Oh, sorry, I think the, the, the baby playing with stuff on the floor. It's right above me, so she's, she likes to pick up her toys and just drop them on the floor. Um, so, I was like, what the? I just wanted to make sure that she didn't fall on her, so. Uh, what's up with the strange tile room at the bottom of the mine? The Guardian statues were created long, um, long, long ago. What are they for? There's a treasure chest behind the Guardian statue. It must be all the, it, it must all be related to those, are these ruins buried deep in the mine? I guess so. Hey Isaac, we should check that chest before we go. I mean, we're not gonna leave it there, that would be silly. Who we'll leaves treasure chest? Okay, so I think we need the lifting gym, right, to get out of this area. Um, let's make sure we give that to the proper person. I like giving these to Garrett because we rarely ever use his synergy for anything outside of battle. My bad, not outside. I should say we rarely ever use his abilities for anything inside of battle, so... I, I prefer to waste his, his synergy outside because we more than likely aren't going to use him for any synergy based attacks inside uh, of a battle. Um, there was another spot here that you can lift with the rock, right? I, I forget. We're, there were two zones in Alton that you could use lift for the rock thing, right? Hey, their music turned back to normal. I can't remember where. I don't even need to heal. I think it was here. Nope, this probably isn't it. Or is it? No, I think it might have been farther down. I swore there was another spot in this place. But yeah, um... I forgot to give you a shout out too, because my mods aren't here right now. Um, and my wife is taking care of me, so let me see. Uh, so... So Tata, uh, what kind of games do you usually stream on your channel? I'll give you a... Shout out to this as well. I want to figure out. I've seen some people have been doing the shout out thing where it would throw a big shout out on the channel um, up at the top so everybody can just click on the button and it would, you know. Um, it would just. Uh, you know, do a general channel-wide shout-out so that everybody can see. I haven't been able to figure out how to do that, though. I've been looking everywhere for that. But I haven't seen it anywhere. Final Fantasy XIV, LOL, some retro games? Nice. I, it's been a while since I played any um, League of Legends. Uh, I used to play it religiously, but I, I don't know. I, I kind of stopped, mainly, because, probably just because I got super busy with work and whatnot. Uh, that it's kind of hard to play the game as much as I would like because you know a single match in LOL can take like hours And it's like okay. Well, I just play one game of, of League of Legends And now I have no time to do anything else on my computer because I literally just burnt it all playing League So I, I guess I kind of stopped doing it. I started playing more Pokemon Unite uh, and that's just because they're like quick 10 minute matches so I can get a few of those in before I have to actually stop doing things um, As far as Final Fantasy 14 online goes um, I'm still playing through the story mode of that. I think I'm inside of uh, the second expansion uh, for that The problem for that game is that I'm a big World of Warcraft fan um, so I, I don't hate Final Fantasy XIV, I just enjoy World of Warcraft that much more. Um, 
So, because I can't tear myself away from World of Warcraft, <laughs> Final Fantasy XIV tends to get, you know, put on the back burner. That and there's uh, Old School RuneScape as well. It's another one of those uh, old RPGs, uh, or MMORPGs that I used to play um, a lot. I don't play that as much as I did before, and that's just because, you know, time constraints and whatnot, but... Um... 14 is always one of those games that I would love to play more of, but I can't tear myself away from World of Warcraft to do so. Especially especially now, since you have the uh, the Dragonflight expansion coming up soon. I've been playing a lot of the Wrath Classic stuff. Not much retail, uh, but mostly just the Classic servers. Uh, just because I, I enjoy what the game was back then, as opposed to what, to, as opposed to what the game has become. Um, and it's not like, it hasn't become bad, it's just, compared to what it was, it's just not as fun. But I am really looking forward to Dragonflight. Dragonflight looks like it's going to be amazing, and it's going to bring the game, hopefully bring that spark for the game back uh, that I once had. Fingers crossed. Nostalgia, yeah. Pretty much. Like, when Wrath Classic... I've been playing Wrath Classic for, like... Like, a little bit every night. Like, I'd come home from work after we get the bed, the baby down for bed. Uh, I might spend, like, an hour or so on Wrath Classic. I finally got to, uh... The level you need to be at to be able to, uh... uh level up in Wrath. Um, I've been... Because of my uh, lack of being able to uh, play the game as often as I would like, um, it took, took me a bit longer to get to uh, 6870 than I would have liked. Uh, but we're, I think, 69 now. We're almost at 70. That is the wrong synergy spell. I use move instead of lift. But I'm thoroughly enjoying myself, definitely. Uh, I like the way the old talent trees uh, were set up too. Especially for mages. I, I love being a Frostfire mage. I don't want to fight this. I kind of want to run away, but at the same time, I kind of don't. We'll use Quake Sphere. The goal here is just to kill them as quickly as I possibly can, and then move on. You know a few people that came over from WoW? Oh yeah, there's a lot of people that were coming over from WoW. Um, especially around the time when the whole debacle with, uh... All the people getting fired and whatnot for, you know, misconduct and whatnot. Um, and then just the overall fact that Shadowlands was... Some, a pretty bad expansion overall. I mean, they did some cool things, but most of it was just blah. Uh, and you pair that to the fact that it was so dry for the longest time. Like, it took them forever to push content out for it. And people were just kind of like, eh, over it. Um, I got over it pretty quickly, too. So I it was like, I, I stopped playing it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, this is taking too long content never came out then I ended up not having time or money to play it. COVID happened so I didn't I couldn't afford a subscription for it and it was just like eh they said it was awkward at first playing 14 or World of Warcraft was uh, awkward at first Fourteen, yeah. I think the biggest drawback for me in fourteen is the fact that you are forced to go through the entire story mode um, from you know start to finish. I think there is a way that you can pay uh, to skip portions of the story, but uh, I, I believe overall you're forced to go through the story, which I, I get why it's a Final Fantasy game, so I, I understand why. Uh, but it was a bit of a drawback, especially because A Realm Reborn was so long. 
It was so long. It took me forever to finish it because I was just like, oh my god, I just, it's so boring and so long. And I was like, I just want it to be over. And once I got out of a realm we're bored, I was like, oh, this is so much better. <laughs> Sorry to be a slog, yeah. It's like my main character, I'm a white mage. Uh, I think I'm in like the 60s or something like that. And I was already beyond level 60 before I even got out of Remember Board. I was like mid 50s, like uh, early 60s before I got out of Remember Board. I was like, this is, this is kind of rough. <laughs> I don't want to fight them, but they're making me. Okay, we'll fight you guys. We will fight you guys. If that's what you want, I will fight you. Jeez, I spoiled these guys. Um, do I have... I thought I had an oil drop on somebody. Did I use it? Maybe I used it. A Realm Reborn can base, is basically a way to set up new stories since the original launch was beyond... Oh, yeah. Oh, I was there for the original launch. <laughs> Not my finest moment. That's what's all right. Yeah, I don't know why. A Realm of Born for me was just kind of boring. There were definitely parts of the story that were like interesting and fun, but most of it was just like, why am I doing this again? <laughs> 